Hello, I'm Tony from Bonners Music. We've got two very large keyboard centres where you can see the Nord Stage 3 on display. One is located in Eastbourne in East Sussex and the other one is in Rygate in Surrey, just off of Junction 8 of the M25 motorway. So this is my quick getting started guide for new users of the Nord Stage 3 keyboards and in it I'm going to cover how to select basic voices, how to layer voices together and then store your sounds into easy to reach locations so you can recall them easily if you're playing on stage. So here we go. Okay so let's start with the Royal Grand 3D program which is the very first sound that you should get when you switch on your Nord Stage 3 and it's a pretty good piano sound but what I want to do is modify that piano sound so it's actually using um, a piano sample which is called Royal Grand 3D XL but it's a lovely classical piano sound, but I want something a little bit brighter, a bit more cutting edge for use on stage. So I'm going to change this using the, the knob which is in the piano section, the list knob here, to the silver grand, which is a much brighter sound, which is great for on stage. And there we go, we've changed the sound. Now I want to store that so that every time I choose the first program, it recalls the sound setting that I've done. So I literally just press the store button, store to AO1 and press store again, and it's stored it. So now that first sound, let's just change to a different program. So I'll go to number three, which is an organ sound. Go back to number one. And although it's still, the program is still called Royal Grand 3D, because we didn't rename it, it's choosing the, the Silver Grand uh, piano sound. Now, perhaps we might want to rename that, um, maybe for the name of a particular song that you would use that piano sound for, or it might just be your go-to piano that you always use. So what I'm gonna do is rename this program now to make it easier, maybe for other people as well to identify the sound. So I press Shift and Store. Now we're in the renaming screen, so I can rename this program. So let's just, to, for the purposes of the video, make it very quickly. I'm just gonna delete everything apart from the word grand. There we go. So then I press store again, and it's asking me, are you sure you want to store it to AO1? Because it's actually gonna overwrite that Royal Grand. I press yes, or store again. And there we go, AO1 is now called Grand. And it's using my favorite grand piano sound, which is a Silver Grand Large. Now, let's say we want to add another sound to that, to maybe layer a synth sound on top of it. We just switch on the synth section, and you'll hear, there's just a very nice basic synth pad sound in the background. We can use the knob or the level knob on the synth section to change the volume of the synth sound. If you want to change to a different synth sound, use this knob that's highlighted in red next to it. And we can go through the different synth sounds. Set the volume of the synth so it just sits in the background. And I quite like that, and I would like to store that into location number two. So what I'm gonna do is use my store as function rather than just the basic store. So we press shift, store as, there we go. Now it's, it's asking me to rename it. So let's use these buttons here to come across to then move the cursor across. And I'm gonna call it grand, and let's call it grand synth. So you hold down button number one, and then you can turn the knob and you can rename that patch to Grand Synth. So let's do that. Very easy to do, just very, very quick actually. There we go. S Y N T H. And then we press store. Ah, now we can choose where we want to store it. Now at the moment, it's asking me to store it into location number one. I'm gonna move that to location number two. Beware, it is going to overwrite whatever's there. So this, this sound that's come up here, Hybrid Super MW, 
is the sound that's already in location two. So be aware that you are now going to erase that. So I'm happy to do that. So I'll just press store. There we go. So now location number one has the grand. Location number two has the grand synth. Now, what I would also like is, uh, is an electric piano sound. So um, let's change the piano sound we've got here. I've still got the synth as well, but let's just change the piano sound to one of the electric ones. So we turn the knob until we get to the electrics. There we go. Keep going through till I find the right one. I want the DX7 full tines. go and I'm going to change the synth pad sound to a different sound to so using the highlighted red synth knob let's change that back to the very first synth sound which is a, a more subtle pad sound and I want to store this into location number three so I press shift store as Oh, it's called Grand Synth. I'm going to change that to, let's call it EP Synth. So again, press the ABC button and change that to an E. And the next one to a P. And then delete these characters in the middle. There we go, EP Synth, press Store. It's asking me where do I want to put it at the moment. It's going to store it into number two. I don't want that, I want to put it into number three. So we'll just turn the knob to number three. It's warning me it's going to overwrite this sound here which is B3 Jazzy Joey, that's fine. Press store, there we go. So number three's got my electric piano, number one. Got my nice bright piano, and number two has the bright piano with the synth. So creating very basic sounds and layer with synth is very, very easy to do. Let's just take it one stage further, and I'm gonna add a third sound now. So I'm gonna do that by adding an organ sound. So I've got my grand piano and my synth. So on the, I'm gonna switch on the organ section, and let's set some draw bars up here. Bring the volume down a little bit. Take the octave of the organ up, switch on the rotary speaker. There we go, so that's my uh, organ with synth and piano. I now want to store that, so I'll press shift, store, give it a name, let's call it um, organ. go organ synth and press store I'm going to move that to location 4 and press store again so there we go so I have piano piano and synth electric piano and synth piano organ and synth so very simple setup layers of voices there now the last thing that I want to touch on is how to rearrange the sounds that are already in the stage three because you may find a preset sound that you really like so I've only used the first four buttons here so let's say I want to I've got button number five is available for me to put a sound into so let's choose one of the existing programs so what well, let's go to uh, location B01 so just using your knob here just go to B01 And that's a CP80 SOT and soft synth pad. I want to copy that into button A05. So what we do is we press shift, store as, leave the name the same, that's fine. Press store, and then move the knob to the location that you want to store it in. So I'm gonna put it to A05, there we go. Press store, it's just warning me, and there we go. Number four is my organ and synth. 
number five, CP80 soft pad. So moving sounds around, copying sounds from different locations really is very, very easy to do. So I hope you found this video useful. It's a very basic intro into using the Nord Stage 3, but these are functions that you'll use every single day of the week that you use your Nord Stage 3. So thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in one of my other keyboard demonstration videos. I have lots and lots on our YouTube channel, and I'll see you soon.